What if I told you? There are living people today whose DNA comes from three extinct human species. In 2021, geneticists discovered that Filipinos carry more archaic human DNA than any population on Earth. Not one, not two, three, including DNA from a human species we've never even identified. These genes didn't survive by accident. They were chosen by evolution because they helped humans survive diseases, starvation, and even extreme environments. This isn't a story about superheroes. It's a story about how the Philippines became the most important crossroads in human evolution. And once you see the evidence, you can't unsee it. In 2021, scientists made a discovery that would rewrite our understanding of human evolution. Deep within the DNA of modern Filipinos, they found something extraordinary, something that shouldn't exist according to everything we thought we knew about human history. Genetic sequences from not one, not two, but three extinct human species, more than any other population on Earth. But this isn't just a story about DNA. It's a story about survival, adaptation, and perhaps abilities we're only beginning to understand. Abilities that challenge the very definition of what it means to be human. What makes Filipino DNA superhuman? Why did evolution choose the Philippines as the mixing ground for humanity's most diverse genetic experiment? And what secrets are still hidden in the genomes of people living in these islands today? This is a detective story written in genes, a mystery spanning hundreds of thousands of years, and a revelation about human nature that changes everything. Our goal on this video is to get 500 likes and share your reaction in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. We are just closer to hit 5,000 of our history family. Let's begin where all great mysteries begin, with a question that shouldn't have an answer. The impossible island, the cave that shouldn't exist. April 2019 a team of researchers publishes findings that send shockwaves through the scientific community. In Kalao Cave, on the island of Luzon in the Philippines, they've found bones. Human bones. But these bones tell an impossible story. The remains are 67,000 years old. They belong to a human species never before seen. A bizarre mosaic of ancient and modern features that makes no evolutionary sense. They name it Homo luzonensis. Here's why this discovery broke all the rules. Problem one, the island barrier. Luzon has been an island for millions of years. Even during the Ice Age, when sea levels dropped 120 meters and exposed land bridges across Southeast Asia, Luzon remained separated from the mainland by deep ocean channels. Yet somehow, a human species reached this island at least 67,000 years ago, possibly much earlier. Archaeological evidence suggests human presence on Luzon dating back 700,000 years. 700,000 years ago, only Homo erectus had left Africa. These were primitive humans with brain sizes barely half of ours. Yet somehow, they crossed open ocean to reach Luzon. Problem 2. The evolutionary puzzle, Homo luzonensis had curved finger and toe bones, like Lucy, our Australopithecine ancestor from three million years ago. Tiny teeth, similar to modern humans. A unique combination of primitive and advanced traits. Features that suggest climbing abilities long lost in other human lineages. It was as if evolution had taken several different human species and randomly mixed their traits. But evolution doesn't work that way. Or does it? Problem 3. The timeline Homo luzonensis survived until at least 50,000 years ago. That means when modern humans, Homo sapiens, 
arrived in the Philippines around 50,000 years ago, they didn't find empty islands. They found a world already populated by humans. Strange humans. Humans who had adapted to island life for hundreds of millennia. The forgotten crossroads now zoom out. Look at Southeast Asia 50,000 years ago. The world is locked in ice. Sea levels are dramatically lower. What we now call Indonesia and Malaysia form a massive subcontinent called Sunderland. New Guinea and Australia are connected as Sahel. And between them, scattered like stepping stones, lie the Philippine Islands. This isn't just geography, this is evolution's greatest laboratory. Multiple human species are converging on this region. Homo sapiens moving out of Africa and across Asia. Homo erectus descendants who'd been in Southeast Asia for over a million years. Denisovans, mysterious archaic humans, we know more from DNA than fossils, Homo floresiensis. The hobbits of Indonesia, standing just over three feet tall, Homo luzonensis, the Philippines' own endemic human species, and possibly others we haven't discovered yet, all of them living in the same region, all of them capable of interbreeding, at least to some degree. The Philippines became ground zero for the most complex mixing of human species in our evolutionary history, and modern Filipinos carry the genetic proof. The genetic time capsule, decoding the superhuman genome, fast forward to 2021. A team led by Swedish geneticist Matthias Jakobsen publishes a landmark study in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. They've sequenced the genomes of 1,107 individuals from 118 ethnic groups across the Philippines. What they find is unprecedented. Filipino populations, particularly the Aeta indigenous peoples, carry up to 5% archaic human DNA. To put this in perspective, most Europeans carry about 2%. Neanderthal DNA, East Asians, carry about 2.5%, combined Neanderthal and Denisovan DNA. Filipinos carry 5% or more, double the archaic DNA of almost any other population. But it's not just the amount, it's the diversity. The three ghosts in our genes. Ghost 1, the Denisovans. In 2010, scientists extracted DNA from a tiny finger bone found in Denisova Cave in Siberia. It belonged to a previously unknown human species, the Denisovans. We know very little about them. We have only a handful of bone fragments, but their DNA tells us they were widespread across Asia, interbred with modern humans, and had remarkable adaptations. Filipinos carry some of the highest concentrations of Denisovan DNA on Earth. Specific genetic markers show multiple waves of Denisovan interbreeding, Denisovan DNA that's different from that found in other Asian populations, suggesting multiple Denisovan populations or subspecies. Ghost 2. The Neanderthals. Yes, Neanderthals. Most people associate them with Europe and the Middle East. But Neanderthal DNA has traveled far, carried by modern humans who interbred with them before leaving the Middle East. Filipino Neanderthal ancestry is lower than Denisovan. But it's there, genetic echoes of humans who never set foot in Southeast Asia, yet whose genes made the journey. Ghost 3. The Unknown. Here's where it gets truly mysterious. In Filipino genomes, particularly in the Eta people, scientists found DNA segments that match neither Neanderthal nor Denisovan patterns. These segments are clearly archaic human DNA. The patterns are too different from modern humans. But they don't match any species we've discovered. Scientists call these ghost lineages or ghost populations. There are at least two separate unknown human species 
that contributed DNA to modern Filipinos. Could one of them be Homo luzonensis? Could the other be a species we haven't discovered at all? The tropical climate of the Philippines destroys DNA rapidly. The Kalau cave bones yielded no usable genetic material. So we're left with a tantalizing mystery. Filipino DNA proves these species existed and interbred with modern humans, but we may never find their bones. The Aeta, living time capsules. The Aeta people are indigenous to the Philippines, particularly Luzon. They've lived in these islands for potentially 50,000 years, making them one of the oldest continuous populations outside Africa. Their genetics are extraordinary, highest Denisovan DNA. Some eater groups have approximately 5% Denisovan DNA, the highest measured in any living population. Unique haplotypes, genetic signatures found nowhere else on Earth, suggesting long isolation and unique evolutionary pressures. Ghost DNA concentration, the highest levels of unidentified archaic human DNA, including segments that appear in no other population. One researcher described the ETA genome as a genetic library of human evolution that we're only beginning to read. But here's what makes this even more fascinating. These aren't just leftover genetic fragments. These genes are active. They're doing something, and some of what they do can only be described as extraordinary. The superhuman adaptations. What makes the DNA superhuman? Let's be clear, we're not talking about X-Men powers. We're talking about real, measurable biological advantages that archaic human DNA provides to modern Filipinos. These genes weren't preserved by accident. Natural selection kept them because they work. Adaptation number one, the immune system revolution. The Philippines is a disease paradise, or nightmare, depending on your perspective. Tropical heat, dense rainforests, thousands of islands, abundant wildlife, all conditions perfect for parasites, bacteria, and viruses. Denisovan DNA gave modern Filipinos enhanced immune responses. Specific genes identified include TNFAIP3, a gene involved in regulating immune response and inflammation. The Denisovan variant provides better protection against dengue fever, endemic to the Philippines, various parasitic infections, tropical bacterial diseases, HLA genes. These control how your immune system identifies threats. Denisovan HLA variants expand the range of pathogens the immune system can recognize and fight. Studies show that Filipinos with higher Denisovan DNA have measurably different immune responses to tropical diseases, 